How's it going everyone? My name is Big Lobster and welcome to part one of the franchise mode giveaway part two. So this time around, changed it up a little bit. Um, I'm probably not gonna be talking much in this episode about NHL news today. Um, it's just gonna be more of a kind of first year type of thing. This whole first year is gonna be one episode and then I'm gonna release another video on the draft. Um, but that's going to be it this week for the NHL videos. Next week, I'll start year two. Um, this week, there's going to be some Walking Dead. Maybe some Terraria. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyways. So, this is, episode is going to be a little bit longer than any of the usual ones. Um, as you can see in Reddit, this is going to be the Reddit giveaway. We, I had everyone, I asked everyone, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're new to my channel, new to my series, I do this a lot <clears throat> because uh, my throat's a little dumb with talking sometimes. Um, hopefully I can get over it as the series goes on. I said that last series, if that tells you anything. Uh, it's gotten a little better though. Anyways, this is a red edition of the Franchise Mode giveaway. I had you guys choose for me. It's either going to be the Capitals or the Penguins and you guys chose the Capitals. Or the, it was pretty split. I think Capitals only won by a vote. So, let's get this party started. Um, this time around, I will not be doing owner mode, because owner mode pisses me off at times, and I really just don't want to deal with it this time. <sighs> Okie doke. So... Here we go, brand new. There's gonna be 15 people in this one. Top five will finish in, be inducted into the Hall of Fame to be put in part three, which is gonna be in NHL 18 because there's no way I could fit another one of these into the schedule of this year before this game becomes irrelevant. Which for some people it doesn't, but around August, maybe mid-July, this game starts to become a little dull for me surprised it hasn't yet seeing as last year it became dull for me in Feb. I mean I got this game last year in February and it became dull for me in like August but uh, I've been I got this game the first day it came out and I've been going strong at it just about every day excuse me I just got up <sighs> all right so here we are in preseason um, just a little thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick I did make adjustments to everyone's overall um for the most part people are what they're what their overall is in a uh, hut so you got backstrom at 94 overall um carlson at 89 overall oshi at 88 johansson at 87 opie at 94 grubauer at 82 who else should we look at here? Bruins got a pretty big mix here. You got uh, Rask at 91 now. Marshan at 93. Krug at 89. Krejci should be an 89. I don't know why he's already dropped. Char at 91. I mean, there's been some big upgrades with some teams. Like, for example, let's take the Coyotes, where... Originally, Shane Doan was like an 83 overall. He is now a 92 because that is his highest card in Hut. So, I thought I should just get that out of the way. Um, oh my god, why are we so tired already? So let's take a look at free agents real quick. See what we got in here. See if we can pick up anyone. Anyone of interest, I should say. We don't have much cap space, actually. Sarla is still in here. He should be on the Hurricanes. And you should be on the Hawks. I don't like how they do that, where the, if there's more than 50 people on a roster, um, they'll just throw in free agency. See, I'm not going to pick up Sarla, because I think that's kind of unfair. Because he's, like, going to... He's usually going to be a good prospect. What do you want, phone? <clears throat> Alright, 
So, mm, skipping on free agency. I think we're just going to leave the team as it is this year. No adjustments. I think the Capitals, as they are right now, are a pretty, pretty good team. So, here we are. We are going to make our way through preseason here. I'm going to try and get through this year as fast as I can. Because I know you all want to make it to the draft to see where you are. Um, I'm a little excited to see that I, I mean, that I thought of a little more ways of mix-ups by putting in not only just 10, but 15 people, and, um, also to add everyone's overall from HUT into here. Well... Um, maybe we will talk some NHL news. I'm sure there's something we can talk about. Uh, we are less than two weeks away from the trade deadline, I suppose, you know. Um, and the, everyone's big question is right now, are the Penguins gonna trade Flurry? <sighs> if they were gonna, I think they would have already done it. I think we're gonna hold on to Flurry and try to go for another playoff run. And, um... I think he's going to be picked up by Vegas, sadly, but, uh, you know, I don't like, oh good, hope he's not a big fan of my way of talking to people, that's good, that means I can't do team meetings or else we're in trouble. So here is our starting lineup for this year. Oh my god, stop yawning. Little weak on the last lines, but other than that, looks pretty solid. Actually, who do we got scratched? Connolly, Schmidt, and Bowie. Okay. So here is what we are gonna do. Oh shit, that's right. I have already gone past waivers. Ha 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 ha. Fuck. Um, I mean, I guess we'll throw the people that don't really need, um, you know, need to go through waivers to go down. One thing I got to adjust before we start sending here, because honestly, I don't want everyone getting injured day one. I don't know why the gameplay sliders are so high on this, but for some reason injuries are super high. I always turn them down to at least 15, so then they happen every once in a while, like, you know, like in real life. But if you have injuries on, like, 50, um, it'll, like, It'll injure like a person every like two games, and you gotta go back into this, and you gotta do it again because it just resets it. I don't know why. Come on, game. Yeah. Uh, let's go back in there just to make sure it did it. There you go. It actually did it this time. Alright, let's get started simming. We're going to sim up to the trade deadline. I'm not going to trade for any picks because, like I said, I don't want to be destiny here and have you end up, have one of you guys end up on fucking Hawks or something randomly. Alright, so let's talk about, anyway, those Talking about Flurry. Uh, Flurry's a good goalie and all. He's been our goalie for years. I love him to death. He's probably like, oh my god, we are off to a terrible start. He's like one of my favorite goalies of all time. He pisses me off all the time, but I think 
I don't know, I just don't see him, I just don't see us getting rid of him. I feel like he would have done it already if, um, it was gonna happen. So I think we will see Flurry until the Vegas, um, expansion and then Vegas will pick him up with Farlama. That's my opinion, that's who's gonna be picked up from the teams. What else we got going on? We got, uh... Canadians getting a new coach, Julian, once again. He started there, didn't he? And now he's back there. I mean, what a weird thing to go from, uh... To go from start at the Canadians and to go all the way... To go to your, uh... To move a little bit around a little as a coach, etc. And then end up on the rival team of the Canadians. Be, a, the, be the coach of that team for a while and then come back to the Canadian team that you were supposed to be a rival of. I mean, I, I was on uh, iFunny and Reddit and a lot of people weren't too, uh, a lot of, I should say a lot of Boston fans weren't too thrilled about this. I mean, I could see why, because, you know, Canadians are the rivals and the Canadians actually have a good coach. If, if you ask me, I think Boston firing him was really dumb. Not smart decision. I mean, he's a great coach, and I think it was Babcock who said it in like a press conference, but he said all the the day that he got fired that um, a lot of GMs are happy because now they can look for a coach, and yeah, I, I knew Julian wasn't gonna, like, gonna be on the market for long. I knew someone was gonna pick him up like, like, like that, you know. Um... See what else we got going on this week. So about Crosby finally scoring a thousand point. I know we're talking a lot about penguin stuff at this point, but um, Crosby scoring his a thousand point is pretty vague. Um, I thought he was gonna do it like two games sooner when he was like facing a team like. Colorado or Phoenix, but for some reason he went quiet for a couple games, and then suddenly he's he's back on track again. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, and hopefully a thousand more. I think he'll definitely hit two thousand by the end of his career. Who knows how long Crosby will go for? And you got Yager at forty-five, and so going, he's getting pretty close to two thousand. What is he at? I think he's at what 1,900 now. He's 100 points away. I mean, he'd only have to have like one super good season or go through two more seasons to get to 2,000. But he said he wanted to play till he's 55, which is crazy. I don't know if I believe that, but then again, uh, didn't uh, I know there's a couple of hockey players that did play over 50. Um, let's see. How about? Uh, Oh, here's something I'm really excited about, and maybe a couple of you guys don't know about. But uh, Briz, our Lord and Savior, is covering the trade deadline for Sportsnet, and that means I'll be watching Sportsnet for the trade deadline. Because who doesn't love Briz? Did you guys see him at the All Star game? He was hilarious. Sitting there holding like four mics and asking people math questions and saying Russia is best at math. I love Briz, he's one of my favorites. No pronger, I don't want you. So it looks like our team has kind of picked it up and now I'm gonna jinx it. We started out pretty terribly. Not like the real life Capitals. Capitals right now are on fire. I think actually they lost to the Red Wings yesterday. But uh, yeah, trade deadline is gonna be pretty, pretty fun with Briz. Um, people are saying the trade deadline is gonna be pretty dull. <sighs> I don't know about that. I think some teams need to make some moves at the trade deadline. De l l l at the trade deadline, or nothing is going to happen for them this year. So I mean, I guess, I guess it's a we'll kind of see type of thing. Like, um, let's think of some teams that I um, that need to make some moves here. In my opinion. Let's start off just off the bat. I think the Penguins need to make a move for a defenseman. I think Pouliot 
needs to go because Puglia just isn't doing it for, you know, what he is supposed to be. The first round pick, he was supposed to be great, and he's just not really doing it. And the Penguins are out a couple of defensemen right now. Schultz got a concussion. Mata uh, had surgery after a hit in Boston, I think. <clears throat> and yeah, the Penguins need a defenseman, a good, decent defenseman. Oh, fuck me. Well, there goes playoffs this year. So, congrats, Grubauer. You are now the starting goalie for the rest of the season. Why? Why, Hopi? Why? Why? Oh my god, we have no one for backup. Alright, that is going to have to change here. I'm going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to go get a backup real quick. Back because there's no way we're gonna have like a 67 overall. Come on, stop, pause, chill. Other goalie for the oh fuck, we have like no okay. So I have to make a trade here, we have to get rid of some room. And I think I know who I want to get rid of. He takes up a bunch of money, chunk like a big chunk of change for us. Where you at? Orpe. Holy shit, that is an awful, awful contract. I hate that contract so much. Where is he? There he is. <clears throat> so I want D'Angelo. If you guys have never watched any of my um, series here, uh, you would know that I, I love D'Angelo as a, as a player. He's one of my favorite uh, prospects in this game. And I do kind of follow him in real life as well. Holy shit. I really improved my expense by, um, overall by actually boosting him a little bit. So I think we're gonna go for him and Dominique. Orpic's obviously not gonna do it, so we're gonna pick up something else. Who else we got here? I think this Johansson's gonna be good, I don't wanna trade him. I'll give you this guy, this guy. Oh my god, we have no picks this year. How about a third? Eh, eh. Um, alright, how about two thirds? You're quite far off in value. How about two thirds in a, I mean, how about a third in a second too? Oh my god. <laughs> why, why must you be the way that you are? Alright, alright, here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna give them two seconds from like years forward here, and we'll have time to get those picks back. Yep, they'll take this. Let's see if we can get something out of them now. How about a fourth? They don't like the fourth. How about a fifth? No. Alright, how about a seventh? Are we are we like right at the line here? You're driving me a hard bargain here. Okay, so we can get a seventh out of them. How about a sixth too? Okay, how about just the sixth? Yeah, we can just get the sixth out of them. Alright, there we go. So we got the Angela. That makes me pretty happy. So we are going to put D'Angelo where Orpic was. bit of wheat. A little weak. How is Grubauer doing this year? Eh, not that great. How about again? Okay, you're doing better. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so there you go, guys. There's our first trade. 
see if anything else has happened. Okay, people people want to talk to me real quick. Let's uh let's talk to everyone. Can't believe Hope is out two months. Because Grubat, we need a backup. You're the new forward. You're the new starter. I don't I don't know why you're complaining, Grubat. Are you want to are you looking to catch these hands? I know, I hope I won't. Last time you only got it to an 86. I'm hoping you get better than that. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if um, anyone else is making trades, even though they don't usually make them till around the trade. Oh, psych. So Montreal got Shane Doan. Arizona got a second. Minnesota got Seidenberg and... Montreal going for that cup this year, that's for sure. <clears throat> Alright, so let's, let's just go past the trade line deadline at this point. Because I think we've already made our one trade that we need. Bobby Ryan's out, I guess. Indefinitely. Rip. He was just starting to pick it up finally. He was having a very slow season and now he's now he now he's starting to pick it up and now he's gone again. I need to make a lot of adjustments to the Hershey team. It doesn't look like they're doing too good. See that was the only good thing that I did in my last franchise mode giveaway. Is when I had control of the stars, we may have not have won any cups. We made it to the finals one time, I think. Maybe the semi-finals, I don't remember. It was really bad, I was really disappointed. But, uh, I, I won the HL, um, I won the Calder in the HL, like, four to five times. So our HL team was bought, like, dynamite. Who says dynamite anyway? I don't know. But yeah, we, I mean, they were good. That was, that was the only good part about it. But, uh, so yeah, I think I can turn her here around. Pretty good with HL teams. Um, if we don't want a cup under the Capitals, I'm going to be very sad. I mean, I can usually at least win one cup if I'm simulating up to 2030. The most I've ever won is eight, and that was as the, um, Oilers. I kept the team pretty much as they were, and I don't know, for some reason, they were just dominating everything. Most cups I've ever won for sure. Alright, let's see if any trades happened here. So, Columbus got Yuri Hudler. Chicago got Hemsky. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty dead trade deadline. Alright, here we go. We are going to finish off the rest of the year, and then we will make it off to the draft. I've only talked about the Penguins. What other teams need to make trades? I think if the Islanders want to have a shot at even making the playoffs, I think the Islanders need to make a big trade. Something that um, will affect the team for sure. Um, I think they've been good recently since they fired their coach, but I don't know if they can still salvage a playoff spot or not. They haven't really looked recently. Um, I know, I think the Red Wings are going to be making a bunch of trades at the trade deadline, like for Vanek. Uh, they'll be trading off Vanek because they need like picks because this is where they're gonna start uh, their little rebuild that they're gonna do. I think the Red Wings are only gonna be in rebuild for like a short amount of time, maybe at worst four years, and then they'll be back at it. Sad that a 25-year playoff streak has to end. Sad that they have to start doing shitty and their owner dies, but you know that's just life at this point. Um, who else needs to make some moves if they want to do something? Colorado. <laughs> Let's talk about them for a second. I can't believe how bad they're doing. I like. I honestly haven't seen a team ever. I, like I watched them one time because I answered them in hat trick on a whim. NHL hat trick. If you don't know, it's like it's an app where NHL asks you three questions. If you get three, all three correct, you get a hat trick. Um, I I answered 
the Colorado Avalanche on a whim. I think it was against the Canucks, so I thought, you know, if if the Colorado Avalanche could defeat any team, it's probably the Canucks. So, here we go, and uh, I was watching them play, and they're so they're so bad this year. They have like no direction. I don't know like what what's going on with their coach. If he's just like not doing anything. If he was told to tank, but honestly, they're so bad this year. It was really sad to watch, and I, obviously that night I lost my hat trick. But uh, they need to make some moves. I heard I've heard stuff about Duchesne, Landis, Cog, Barry. In my opinion, I think the only one that's actually going to go is probably Vladis Cog. And I was hearing Boston are Canadians? Oh good, the Angelo's out. Give me one second, I gotta go and... How's it going guys, welcome back. Oh for Christ's sake. Okay, so we are back. Sorry to take a little... Um, blow my nose break I guess okay hope he's back finally welcome back better not get injured on the first day that you're back please we need you for the playoffs so let's take a look at how Grubauer has been doing he's been doing pretty decent you know as good as a backup can be so I think we gotta scratch Dominique now and he's probably not gonna be too happy about that but uh, what are you gonna do tell me what are you actually gonna do I am going to kill you, Charney. You're not. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was about to say. I swear to God, if you're injured again, Hopi. Carlson has gone amazing this year. So here we are, end of the season, playoff time, which I think we definitely made it. Maybe. Oh my god, Corny. Actually, I didn't see if uh, I didn't see him in the prospect of the goalies when I was looking at them. Uh, I believe the Capitals have a pretty good goalie, like coming up, you know, right now. I think he's in whatever his league is, but I've heard some pretty good things about him. Here we go, playoff times. Um, let's have a look. So we finished second to the Penguins, of course, big surprise. Ovechkin finished with 85 points, pretty good. Maybe want to rock it? So we got Ovi, Backstrom, Carlson, Kuz. Oshi did pretty shitty. Ugh. That's something I never liked about Oshi in uh, franchise mode or GM mode. He never seems to do good. Johansson did that. Williams, yeah, pretty much. These are all pretty much expected. Burkowski, I kind of expected a little more out of you. That's pretty fun. Wow, Grubauer did better than Holby this season. Wow. Oh, not rookie goalie, rookie skaters. D'Angelo only got 5 points in 29 games, that's awfully disappointing, disappointing, but, you know, I can't expect him to do amazing the first year that he's here. So, let's take a look. This will be the only year we can do this, by the way, because in the next couple of years, your skaters could actually start to uh, do pretty good. Um, I will be doing checkups on your players every single year but i won't be showing you their points because you know what's the point of that because then you'll know who's winning and know who isn't winning you'll find out what your points are and everything at the end so this is the only year that we can actually do this 
where we can look at the entire league. Holy shit, Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand, the elite left winger, got 105 points. Astronaut, Bergeron, wow, the fucking Bruins were dominant this year. Malkin got 94. Question is, did Ovi win the Rocket? Yes, he did. So, there you go. Ovi won the Rocket. That's good. Who won Rookie of the Year? Line A. Well, that's no surprise, actually. Hit, see, sadly, with how things have been going, Line A has a high up, upgrade in Hut right now. He has, um... Yeah, he's just been upgraded over and over again while Matthews has just been kind of left in the dirt. Kind of sad. Wow, you know, I expected uh, Matthews, Marner, and uh, I expected the Leafs to do a little more because I upgraded the Leafs a lot. Like, they got a bunch of big upgrades. Sad. So yeah, there you go, Brad Marshen got the most points this year. <clears throat> and let's jump right into playoffs. Don't forget, immediately after this video is released, I will be releasing another video of the draft. So, I like including it as kind of like a separate video just to show reactions. Um, also, after the draft is over, I will be... Actually, no. For Season 2, the first episode of Season 2, I'll be including my contracts and the free agency. Um, I don't really talk during those two because I feel like it's just like a process that doesn't take too long and there's really not worth anything talking about unless I'm like super rebuilding which in this case we are not yet. So here we are we got the Rangers round one. <clears throat> Let's get this party started please Capitals please don't be the stars and let me down. After the first period Johansson scores. After the second Kuz, now for the third. Wow. Shout out from Holby as Kuz gets the second of the night. Happy. Happy so far. But then again, that happiness can change really, really fast. <clears throat> Alright, game number two against the Rangers. After the first period, nothing. After the second. Ooh, Johansson and Wilson score, but Peary and Stepan score. Stepping on my dreams right now. And after the third, oh, Miller, Nash score, and Ovechkin scores. But the Rangers get one over on us. So here we go. Game three. Series tied at one to one. Yeah, the Hershey Bears did terrible this year. Holy shit. Alright, after the first, Malone and Ovechkin score. And after the second, <clears throat> Rangers catch up, but Backstrom scores. Sapon and Zuccarell. And after the third, heck, Zuccarell again. After the fourth, yes, Oshi. Thank you. Finally coming through, Oshi. So there you go. We are up 2 to 1 on them. Excuse me. Alright, after the first period, Miller scores. After the second, nothing. And after the third, heck, Ave and Zabinajed score nice. Tying the series once again at 2-2. Two to two. Here, here's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to head back. Let's take a look at the playoff tree real quick. So we've got Rangers, Capitals. Penguins have already been knocked out by the Canadians. Um, Bruins, Lightning, Red Wings. Sadly, that's not going to happen this year, Red Wings. Why did the Red Wings make the playoffs? What the fuck? Senators. And then you got the Hawks, Jets, uh, Blues have already beat the Ducks, Kings versus the Whalers, and Sharks versus Flames. Yeah, I don't foresee that actually happening this year, especially with how stuff have been going for some other teams on that list, like the Red Wings. Let's jump into the second game. We're tied at 2-2. Two two. 
after the first, nothing after the second, nothing on crap after the third, fuck. Vessi and Nash scores, putting the Rangers ahead of us. 3 to 2 in the series. Here we go again. Someone's gonna. People are gonna get traded here. I'm probably gonna trade away Oshi. He really doesn't do much for me at this point. Yes, yes, I know some of you don't like my little pep talk, talks, but uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it at this point. So, here we go. This could be the end of the Capitals. After the first, Backstrom. Second, Ovechkin. And after the third, Winnick scores, and we shut out the Rangers. Tying it again. 3-3. Three to three. Holy shit, Game 7. Fucking Niskanen. Fucking Niskanen. Alright, we gotta make some lineup changes here. I think we're gonna put, um, oops, I'm used to HUD. I put Oshi on the top line. And I'm gonna put Ness on the bottom line there. And that'll both do it. So here, so here we go, game seven. Hold one last team meeting, because that seemed to do something. Come on guys, stop sucking. First, Heck, Zabinajad, the second. Oh, well, 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 we done. <laughs> That's it. Game over. Oh, fucking A. Congrats, Grubauer. You, uh, you really, you really did it. See, I don't want to trade away Holby, even though he's been horrible this year, because I did that in the previous game. Holby was, like, horrible for me for four years straight when I played the Capitals before, and then I traded him away, and then next year he won the bet now. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. It seems to be that way. If you guys remember correctly, at the end of my uh, last uh, Frontier Mode giveaway, I traded away a guy named Rutu. He was, uh, he has an HL Ward winner a lot. Um, but he just didn't fit up in my lineup because we had two good goalie prospects already. Boom, next year, last year actually, he won the Vezna. <laughs> so there we go, we are eliminated from the frickin' playoffs. Oh my god. Ovechkin, I'm sorry. I want to get you a cup. And you know what, I might actually make some big changes in the offseason to see if we can do that. I might move a lot of people, but we, I gotta see what teams I can't choose from anymore. Because remember, when um, after the draft happens, I can't choose from... Uh, I can't trade your teams anymore. Unless your team trades me. And if your tra team tries to trade me you, I can't pick you up. I can never pick you up, because that'd be unfair. So... Here we go, we're going to simulate up to the draft. This is where I'm going to end this episode because... Alright guys, just welcome back real quick. Ignore the goodbye. Edit that out. Do it. Do it. We got, wait, I forgot, we have to take a look at awards. So the center is one. Could that happen this year? Yeah, that could happen this year. I could see that happening. I mean, the Senators have been pretty good. They're almost in first place in the Central. Not central, but whatever. I can't think of what their uh, league is. Pittsburgh got the President's Trophy. It was St. Louis and the Senators. Wow. Are the Blues ever going to win a Stanley Cup? Are the Capitals ever going to win a Stanley Cup? That's the big question here. Here we go. And like I said, Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand. Carlson. Pasternak. Lainey. Anderson won the Smythe. Oh, what? Okay. 
seriously, if that actually happened this year, could you imagine how, like, heartwarming and stuff like that that'd be? I wouldn't mind seeing that happen. I could live with not seeing the Penguins win the Stanley Cup. Jones won the Vesna. And the William Jennings. Boychuk won the Master, Master of Helen or whatever, Memorial. Bergeron won the Selkie. Marchand won the Lindsay. And we won the Richard. Let's take a look at AHL real quick. The Admirals won the Calder Cup. And here are the other awards because there's like a ton of them. We didn't win anything because we're bad. Ritty. I've heard good things about Saros. And that's about it. Okay, so now, here we go. This is the perfect time for us to end the episode. 